a very warm welcome to one and all today we will have the second series of session celebrating virtual dhyan utsav yesterday's master class gave a wonderful experience to all of us and i'm sure that after attending today's session you will feel more relaxed and happy let us begin today's program with few brain exercises let us play some mind games so are you ready observe the picture carefully and find the differences between them oh wow so many answers in such a short period and some are really very keen observers over here so come on let us see the difference if you observe picture a there is a puppy in picture b there is a cat there's a black bird in picture a in picture b it is a pink bird there is an owl in picture a but in picture b you are having a flower in picture a a green parrot is sitting and in picture b it is a colorful parakeet there is a mouse too in picture b wow great some are really able to find all the differences that's wonderful let's move to the next activity can you find which two animals are you able to see in the given picture that's great yes it is a rabbit and a duck so did you all enjoyed the activities yahan pe hum sab bhi healthy aur positive life jeena chahte hain par kya aisi life jeene ke liye hum koi prayas karte hain shayad nahi to fir hum kyun na koi aisa marg apnaye jo hame positive healthy aur energetic life de yoga is a source of huge energy and positivity और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि इससे बेहतर मार कोई हो नहीं सकता सो नाउ वी हैव विद अस मिस्टर विनय गुप्ता हु इज अ योगा ट्रेनर एंड हु इज गोइंग टू गाइड अस टू लीड अ हेल्दी लाइफ इसके मित्रों आप सभी लोगों का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आज हम योग की श्रृंखला को आगे बढ़ाते हुए कुछ नया सीखेंगे तो सबसे पहले एबडोमिनल ब्रीदिंग से शुरुआत करते हैं अपना लेफ्ट पाम बाई हथेली अपनी नाभि पर रखें इस तरह से और डीप एंड लॉन्ग इनहेल करते हुए महसूस करें कि श्वास आपके पेट में पूरी तरह से जा रही है और आपका पेट बाहर आ रहा है श्वास छोड़ते हुए महसूस करें आपका पेट अंदर की तरफ जा रहा है एक बार फिर से गहरी और लंबी श्वास भरें और धीरे धीरे श्वास छोड़ें लंबी श्वास भर रहे हैं धीरे धीरे श्वास छोड़ते हुए शरीर में ऊर्जा महसूस करें रिलैक्स बी इन प्रसाइन मैच कीप स्माइलिंग अब हम लोग यहां से पहले आसन का अभ्यास करेंगे तो सबसे पहले अपने दोनों पैरों को सामने की तरफ स्ट्रेच करें यहां से हम ध्यान वीर आसन बनाएंगे तो अपने राइट लेग को इस तरह से मोड़ें और लेफ्ट लेग के ऊपर रखें लेफ्ट वाले पैर को इस तरह से रखें दोनों पैर 
जमीन पर इस तरह से रहेंगे और आपके हिप्स दोनों नीचे की तरफ रहेंगे तो जितना आप पैर को मोड़ सकते हैं उतना ही मोड़ना है शुरू शुरू में पूरी तरह से आप इस स्थिति में नहीं आ पाएंगे बट धीरे धीरे अभ्यास से आप आसानी से आपके शरीर में फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी बढ़ेगी और आप कर पाएंगे तो आप जितना होता है उतना कीजिए यहां पर प्रणाम मुद्रा की स्थिति में आ जाए गहरी श्वास भर हैं और श्वासों को छोड़ते हुए सामने की तरफ झुकना है अपनी कोनियों को फोर आर्म्स को जमीन पर रखने की कोशिश करें इसी स्थिति में बने रहें सामान्य सांसें लेते रहें वाई होल्डिंग द पॉश फील द स्ट्रैच इन योर लोअर बैक श्वास भरते हुए धीरे धीरे ऊपर आ जाए एक बार फिर से अभ्यास करेंगे गहरी श्वास भरे और श्वास को छोड़ते हुए धीरे धीरे सामने की तरफ झुके शरीर में खिंचाव को महसूस करें श्वास भरते हुए ऊपर की तरफ आ जाए बैक स्ट्रेट एंड रिलैक्स इस तरह से दोनों हाथों को इस स्थिति को ध्यान वीर आसन बोलते हैं इस स्थिति में बैठकर आप लंबे समय तक ध्यान कर सकते हैं अभ्यास कर सकते हैं अब इसी स्थिति में बैठते हुए यहां से हम अपनी रीढ़ की हड्डी में खिंचाव का अभ्यास करेंगे तो श्वास भरते हुए राइट हैंड ऊपर की तरफ ले जाएं, श्वास छोड़ते हुए पीछे की तरफ ले जाएं और अपनी हथेली जमीन पर रखें श्वास भरते हुए लेफ्ट आर्म ऊपर की तरफ और श्वास छोड़ते हुए अपने फोर आर्म्स को अपनी थाइस से इंटरलॉक करें यहां पर गहरी श्वास लें और श्वास छोड़ते हुए अपनी स्पाइन को ट्विस्ट करें पीछे की तरफ देखें इसी स्थिति में अपने शरीर को रोकें होल्ड करें सामान्य सांस लेते रहें अपनी रीढ़ में खिंचाव को महसूस करें श्वास भरते हुए अपने दाहिने हाथ को राइट आर्म को ऊपर की तरफ ले जाएं, श्वास छोड़ते हुए नीचे ले आए अब इसी स्थिति में बैठते हुए हम तीसरा अभ्यास करेंगे श्वास भरते हुए यहां से फिर से राइट आर्म को ऊपर की तरफ ले जाएं। अब यहां से हाथ को मोड़ते हुए कोहनी से इस तरह से पीछे ले जाएं यहां से लेफ्ट आर्म को पीछे की तरफ ले जाएं और अपनी दोनों उंगलियों को इस तरह से आपस में इंटरलॉक करना है इस तरह से पीछे से इंटरलॉक करना है और अगर आप दोनों उंगलियां आपस में पकड़ने में असमर्थ हैं तो एक नैपकिन या टॉबिल या रुमाल का उपयोग कर सकते हैं और पीछे से इस तरह से पकड़ें इसी स्थिति में बने रहें ये आसन गौमुखासन कहलाता है काउपौश्य जिसको भी फ्रोजन शोल्डर्स की तकलीफ है कंधों में जड़ता है स्टिफनेस है उसको ये धीरे धीरे कम कर सकता है हाथों को इस स्थिति में रोकते हुए अपने दोनों 
हाथों में कंधों से उंगलियों तक खिंचाव को महसूस करें श्वास छोड़ते हुए धीरे धीरे अपने दोनों हाथों को सामान्य स्थिति में ले आए अब हम इसी का अभ्यास दूसरी तरफ से भी करेंगे तो फिर से पैरों को सामने की तरफ और अपने बाएं पैर को अपने घुटने पर इस तरह से रखें दाहिने पैर को इस तरह से मोड़ के रखें प्रणाम मुद्रा की स्थिति में आ जाए गहरी श्वास भरें और श्वास छोड़ते हुए सामने की तरफ झुकना है श्वास लेते हुए ऊपर की तरफ आ जाए एक बार फिर से गहरी श्वास भरें और श्वास छोड़ते हुए सामने की तरफ धीरे धीरे झुके बैंड फॉरवर्ड एंड होल्ड द पॉश विद श्वास भरते हुए यहां से दाहिने बाए हाथ को ऊपर की तरफ ले जाए श्वास छोड़ते हुए धीरे धीरे नीचे लाए श्वास भरते हुए दाहिने हाथ को राइट वाले आम ऊपर की तरफ ले जाए श्वास छोड़ते हुए धीरे धीरे नीचे लाए यहाँ पर गहरी श्वास भरें तो श्वास छोड़ते हुए इस तरह से पीछे की तरफ देखें अपनी स्पाइन को प्रेस करें पॉस्चर को होल्ड करें अपनी स्पाइन में स्ट्रेच को फील करें श्वास लेते हुए धीरे धीरे अपने लेफ्ट आर्म को ऊपर उठाए श्वास छोड़ते हुए रिलैक्स अभ्यास से हम तीसरा अभ्यास करेंगे इसी स्थिति में बैठे हुए श्वास भरते हुए अपने फिर से लेफ्ट आर्म को ऊपर ले जाएंगे अपनी कोहनी से इस तरह से मोड़ेंगे और अपने दूसरे हाथ को राइट आर्म को पीछे की तरफ ले जाएं, उंगलियों को आपस में मिलाएं, श्वास छोड़ते हुए धीरे से सामान्य स्थिति में आ जाए रिलैक्स अब सुखासन की स्थिति में बैठ जाए तो इस तरह से आज हमने ध्यान वीरासन में बैठते हुए तीन पॉस्चर्स का अभ्यास किया उम्मीद है आप सभी लोग प्रतिदिन इनका अभ्यास नियमित रूप से करेंगे सभी लोगों को आज का सेशन ज्वाइन करने के लिए बहुत थैंक यू सर फॉर टीचिंग एंड गाइडिंग अस हम पूरी कोशिश करेंगे कि आप जो भी हमें सिखा रहे हैं बता रहे हैं उसे जरूर अपनाएं। नाउ लेट अस मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द मोस्ट अवेटेड पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन वेयर वी विल हैव द सेकेंड ऑफ थ्री मेडिटेशन मास्टर क्लासेस conducted by Daji the global guide of the heartfulness movement Welcome to the second of 3 meditation master classes 
conducted by Daji, the global guide of the Heartfulness Movement. In this session, you will be guided through a simple rejuvenative cleaning method to detox your mind and let go of stress. It will leave you feeling light and refreshed. Hello everyone. Welcome to day two to the second element of the heartfulness practice. We like to call it cleaning or rejuvenation. What is the relation between cleaning and rejuvenation? It is like concentration and meditation. Meditation produces a state of concentration. Cleaning rejuvenates us. It's a byproduct. It's the result. I think it is one of the most important element of this heartfulness practice. What is cleaning? What is it that we are trying to clean? Let us try to first understand the difference between karmas, samskaras, impressions, perceptions. But I'm not going to go in depth. Suppose you look at someone and it creates such an impact in your heart. Oh, she is so irresistible, for example. And for days, you keep thinking about her. The impression has caught you. In the scientific world, second law of Newton or first law of Newton, I'm not an expert in the physics, but actions and reactions are equal and opposite in direction. But in the field of spirituality, the reaction to a particular action has no measure. It can be drastically so profound that a mere glance can produce such an impact that you don't forget all your life. So the result in the spiritual world need not be equal and opposite. It can be as large as encompassing the whole universe or nothing at all. It depends on us. This particular practice tries to remove the certain perceptions which we gather because of whatever reasons, you know. Someone sees to a particular idea and says, oh, this idea is good or bad. The other person sees the same idea and says, oh, this is useless. The other person says the same, sees the same idea and says, oh, it's so great. What makes such a difference? All of us are not attracted to the same thing to the same extent. We all have different degree of reaction to the same thing. Our impressions, our background, our perceptions, they work like these colored glasses. We all wear colored glasses in our consciousness. How to perceive the thing as it is? You have heard the story of a great lover who was trying to meet his beloved who was living across the riverside. At night, even when it is raining heavily and he has to cross the flooding river, he catches hold of something what he felt it was a log crosses the river. The door is locked so he is trying to climb it to the first floor of his beloved. He thinks what is rope, holds it and climbs it up and enters Beloved's chamber. Later on, Beloved asks, how did you climb? How did you come? He said, you left a rope for me to come up. He says, laughing, a rope? I never left a rope for you. I didn't even know you were coming. Anyway, then when they see a through the window, how he climbed up, it was a huge snake. He fell in was a rope perception. He was madly in love. So even little thing seemed as if things are helping him to achieve his goal. When he is returning and sees the log that he thought it was, it was a dead corpse. So perception again. 
There is a beautiful example of an elephant or a horse tied by a rope to a small plastic chair. Imagine the impact of such a perception. Horse or an elephant who can bring down the entire tent in a circus, but it is tied to a mere small plastic chair. Again, it is a matter of perception. Our ideas, our thoughts, our impressions, they have such a hold on our being. We need to clean that and see the things they are. So, I would like to share with you all how to get rid of these impressions, perceptions, reactions or broadly speaking karmas or samskaras. How we can remove them? All our daily activities are like harbingers of collecting all these things knowingly or unknowingly. At the end of the day when most of our daily activities are over, we come home to 10-15 minutes of relaxation, spending time with the family, sit down quietly in some nice cozy corner in your house and try and apply this particular technique. This whole technique is to bring about or bring out the inner abilities from us, so that we see things as they are. We like to remain pure, we like to remain simpler. The complexities and impurities that we gather or let us put it differently, the complexities and impurities that we have accumulated because of these um, daily activities which are unavoidable. We have a chance now before these impressions or before these cognates get settled in the deeper level of my consciousness, I like to remove them. See often we see when somebody says, do you know such and such a song? Then we try to find, we scan through our mind, we try to find the cognates of this song buried in our mind. If these cognates are found that yes, the song is there, I know about this song, then you sound so wise or full of knowledge, oh I know this song. But if these cognates are not found, then you say, oh, oh I do not know it, I remain ignorant about it. So, we all carry certain level of cognates, which we recognize in our interactions. And these are these cognates, which go on interfering our daily activities, either we know or we do not. And complexities arising out of all these cognates, buried impressions interfere with our judgments. Either we make too much of judgment or too little of a judgment because of lack or full clarity. So, this practice of dissolving the impressions that are acquired within us over the course of our daily activities, daily activities is taken up seriously at the end of the day. Removing these complexities, what would you expect? Simplicity, is not it? When we remove impurities, natural result is purity inside. This both in turn, simplicity and purity brings about naturalness within our system. Now, what is the process? How do we do this cleaning during these three heartfulness master classes? We are enabled because of this transmission or this initiatory process. We are enabled somehow to do this cleaning on our own. 
we are given enough of capacities and know-how or a technique so that we can remove these uh, daily accumulations. Our activities, our daily activities rather create a lot of complexities and impurities. And they somehow color our consciousness. It impacts our heart and impacts our mind. Eventually, it affects our meditative consciousness. For example, these impressions can lead us to endlessly mull over repetitive thoughts. Imagine something that you have forgotten during that time or you did not complete it during that time. It creates a certain level of impression and it haunts your mind just before you go to sleep. So incomplete work, something that you did wrongly also haunts us. So when we do this cleaning, these impressions are removed in such a way that not the memory is removed, but the impact of such a failure or success is removed. The impact of our actions, the impact of our inactions, impact of our thoughts, impact of our ideation or impact of the surrounding means of our boss or some innocent things can also impress our mind. And slowly we realize that as I do more and more cleaning, my inner being is so focused, it remains purer and simpler enough to see things directly. We perceive things directly with it, I think, as, as a result. This is again a matter of experience and I would like you to feel what a difference it can make to our consciousness. So today I would also demonstrate to you, actually walk you through this process of cleaning. Another way of understanding these impressions or samskaras or karmas or perceptions. You can compare them with seeds. Seeds, something that would, under a particular environment, given a right environment, they get the opportunity to sprout. If these seeds sprout and take hold of our consciousness in a, in a with a wilder manifestation of it, it's difficult to control their growth. It becomes a jungle. We like to organize our thoughts. We like to plan our things properly in such a way that a particular seed should grow in particular environment, in particular place, like a master craftsman or a, a, a great gar a gardener who would plant certain seeds in certain location, at certain time, in such a way the beautiful garden can come. But if seeds are left alone to grow wherever, whenever, everywhere, then it becomes a jungle. Thoughts and ideas left uncontrolled, unregulated, unchannelized, uninspired, creates a jungle, a chaotic life. This process of cleaning helps us regulate all these things. Not only it removes certain impressions from our deeper levels of consciousness or even mundane level of consciousness, it, it actually inspires us in choosing the right thing, making right decisions in life. This process has to be ideally done just after we come home, you know, I'm a retired pharmacist. I used to work 9 to 7 and by the time I came home, it was generally 8 p.m. So by 8.15, I would sit in my room and would use this excellent cleaning process. It would help me regain strength, it will rejuvenate myself and it will calm me down further. And most importantly, I felt that if I had not done my cleaning, then I would be interacting with that frustrated mind, 
chaotic mind, spoiled consciousness to a certain extent with the family members. Imagine you come with certain irritated state and interact with family members. Wouldn't it be beautiful if I can get rid of this through a simple process of cleaning? Today we will be doing this cleaning only for about 10 minutes or so. But later on in your day-to-day -day life, I would wish that you would do this cleaning for at least 20 minutes to see the immediate results. If you have more time, extend it up to 30 minutes, but I would not recommend this cleaning process to be done more than 30 minutes at a time. So, let's begin. Let's do this cleaning. This is how we do it. Just like meditation, we close our eyes very gently. Now the focus here is the back part, from top of the head till the tailbone, shoulder to shoulder, back part. We have to think that all the complexities and impurities are going away. This is a kind of sankalpa that this is happening. Complexities and impurities are going away. From where? From this backside. From top of the head till the tailbone. Imagine that and think that they are going from that backside. And how? Think that they are going in the form of smoke. So, <clears throat> let us rethink this process, what we are doing. We are simply making a sankalpa or a suggestion that all complexities and impurities are going away from my backside in the form of smoke. Continue with this process. If you are settled with this much, I would like you to do one more thing, accelerate this process. Now gently add next element to this cleaning process. Imagine the light is descending from above. It is entering from the front side of your system and passing through the entire system, entire body. Going out from the back side now helping us remove these complexities and impurities. This light in turn is helping me fill up the vacuum left behind by the removal of complexities and impurities.
at the end of this cleaning generally we make a firm suggestion that yes all the complexities and impurities are now removed and that I feel not simpler and purer. Now that cleaning is done, I would like you all to write your observation. How do you feel after cleaning? How this experience differs from meditation? I would like you to pay your attention to it. Pay attention like a scientist would to see the difference in process and its results. Today when we finish this 10 minutes of cleaning, I would like you to meditate the way we meditated yesterday. Those of you who are joining us today who could not attend, 
the first master class on meditation please revisit it's available but just to give you a quick learning on how to meditate just simply close your eyes and think that the source of light is already present in my heart and it's pulling my attention inward i'll be transmitting to you today again please sit like this for about another 15 minutes or 20 minutes the end of which i'll say that's all
That's all. Let's make a note of what we felt. Let's write our observation. <clears throat> So, first the cleaning. When we try to remove impressions, we must not think about what we are trying to clean or get rid of. It is like vacuuming. When we vacuum a room, we don't specifically say, oh, I am going to remove this dirt or that dirt or this piece of paper or this colorful paper. No. In one we go, we remove whatever comes our way. Paying attention to particular thing that you intend to remove actually you will reinforce that particular impression. So, don't. We need to make observation at every step like a scientist would. Especially this aspect of what is my inner state before I begin either meditation or cleaning and what is my state after comparison. The overall aim with cleaning is to foster our inner connection with the heart. The connection that was established during morning meditation, we have to re-strengthen it somehow. Because that connection was made weaker because of these complexities and impurities. Now we are strengthening it by removing them. When we start our day with morning meditation and by the time we reach the sunset and evening is there, we have collected so much which needs to be removed through this evening cleaning process. This in turn makes our meditation easier. So in a way, both are supporting each other. When I meditate, I gather strength. It is like, you know, you have a powerful Ferrari, but it is stuck in mud. What would you do? Powerful engine, but useless. It is stuck in the mud. You can have a beautiful road, but no Ferrari engine. So we like to see a beautiful combination of you know fine roads and a great vehicle. Same thing applies to our inner system. We have a great soul, but what if it is bound in chains with the fill that we collect? We need to remove it. So that is the importance of removing complexities and impurities. I would wish, I would urge you all to derive the benefits of this daily cleaning. More you do it, more you will feel the benefit of it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you tomorrow. We will be taking up the aspect of how to connect ourselves with our deeper self tomorrow. See you and Namaste. So, here we come to an end of our today's session. I wish that you all join for tomorrow's session too. अब मैं आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगी कि आप अपने डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जाकर दिए गए लिंक को टैप करिए और वहां जाकर गूगल फॉर्म भर दीजिए. And do not forget to mark your attendance. जैसे कि आपको पता है, जो भी व्यक्ति तीनों दिन के सेशन अटेंड कर लेगा, उसे हम ई सर्टिफिकेट प्रोवाइड करेंगे. And I would humbly request you all to kindly subscribe and like our AIS web page. Thank you all.